This presentation discusses the basics of traffic accident data and how to determine whether certain data may be disclosed. Minnesota Statute Section 169.09 addresses collisions and accident reports, while Chapter 13 of Minnesota Statutes contains the Minnesota Government Data Practices Act. These two portions of Minnesota Statutes interact and dictate what traffic accident data may be disclosed. Traffic accident data can consist of a wide range of information, including the accident reports required by Minnesota Statute Section 169.09, Request for Service Data under Minnesota Statute Section 1382, Subdivision 3, Response or Incident Data under 1382, Subdivision 6, or other data maintained by a law enforcement agency as a result of active or inactive investigations relating to traffic accidents. Minnesota Statutes Section 169.09 requires peace officers who investigate certain traffic accidents to send a report to the Minnesota Department of Public Safety uh, following the accident. The Commissioner of Public Safety has determined what kinds of traffic accident data peace officers must submit. Further, a driver of a vehicle involved in an accident must send a report to DPS following the accident if the accident results in bodily injury, death, or property damage over $1,000. Request for service data may also be traffic accident data. This data includes the nature of the request for law enforcement services or the activity complained of, the name and address of the person making the request, unless it's protected under 1382 subdivision 17, uh, the time and date of the request, the response initiated, and the response or incident report number. Response or incident data can also be traffic accident data, including the date, time, and place of the accident, any pursuit engaged or resistance encountered, whether weapons were used, prefacts of the events, names and addresses of witnesses and victims, so long as they're not protected under 1382 subdivision 17, the name and location of the healthcare facility where any person involved was taken, dates of birth of the parties involved in the accident, whether the parties were wearing seatbelts, alcohol concentration of the drivers, and whether a portable recording system was used by the agency. Criminal investigative data can be traffic accident data if the law enforcement agency collected or created data to prepare a case against a person involved in the accident. When you receive requests for traffic accident data, you want to ask yourself a couple questions to determine whether you can release the requested traffic accident data. The first step in determining whether you can release data is to determine exactly what data is being requested. This will help you determine where the data is located and how the data is classified. After you identify what is being requested, then you must determine if the requested data is only contained in the accident reports required by 16909. If not, and this data is maintained elsewhere in law enforcement records, you only need to determine if the data may be released under Minnesota Statute 1382. I'll go into greater detail about 1382 and the disclosure of law enforcement data in the following slide. On the other hand, if data is contained solely in the accident report submitted to the Commissioner of DPS, the data is not public and may only be disclosed if the requester fits within one of the exceptions listed in Minnesota Statute 16909, Subdivision 3. Generally, these exceptions are as follows. If the requested data is contained in the driver's accident report, it may only be disclosed to the driver who filed the report. If the requested data is contained in a peace officer's accident report, then it may be disclosed to any individual involved in the accident, the representative of the individual's estate, the surviving spouse, one or more surviving next of kin, a trustee appointed under Section 573.02, any other person injured in person, property, or means of support, or who incurs other loss by virtue of the accident, or legal counsel or representative of the insurer of any person described. If the traffic accident data concerns juveniles involved in the traffic accident, please refer to Minnesota Statute Section 260B-171, Subdivision 5D. Most traffic accident data that is maintained or collected independent of accident reports are public. This includes request for service data, response or incident data, and inactive criminal investigative data. The primary exception or type of traffic accident data that would be protected is active criminal investigative data and any protected identities. If you are interested in classifications of other law enforcement data, including portable recording system data, please refer to Minnesota Statute 1382. 
In conclusion, if traffic accident data is maintained or collected anywhere other than the accident report itself, it is likely law enforcement data and you will determine whether it may be released based on Minnesota Statute Section 1382 instead of Minnesota Statute Section 169.09. Thank you for viewing this presentation on the basics of traffic accident data. This was only a brief overview. If you are interested in learning more about the Minnesota Data Practices Act, law enforcement data, or traffic accident data, please visit our website.